In the New Testament, New Jerusalem is depicted symbolically as a city with a cube shape. Revelation 21 verse 16. The city lies four square, its length the same as its width. And he measured the city with his rod, twelve thousand stadia. Its length and width and height are equal. New Jerusalem is also called Zion, linking it to the ancient city of Jerusalem and the covenant promises of God. In parts of the Bible including Psalm 48 verse 2. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Psalm 125 verse 1. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. Isaiah 2 verse 3. Many people shall come and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we shall walk in his paths, for out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Within Ezekiel 40 to 48, there is an extended and detailed description of the measurements of the temple, its chambers, porticos, and walls. Ezekiel 48 verses 30 to 35 contains a list of twelve temple gates named for Israel's twelve tribes of the sons of Israel. There were three gates on each side, three on the east, three on the south, three on the north, and three on the west. Revelation 21 verses 12 to 13. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each gate was made from a single pearl. Revelation 21 21 a.m. The gates in the north wall are named for Reuben, Judah, and Levi those in the east wall, for Joseph, Benjamin, and Dan, those in the south wall, for Simeon, Issachar, and Zebulun, and those in the west wall are named for Gad, Asher, and Naphtali, Ezekiel 48 verses 31 to 34. Judaism sees the Messiah as a human male descendant of King David who will be anointed as the King of Israel and sit on the throne of David in Jerusalem. Isaiah 9 verses 6 to 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government, and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. He will gather in the lost tribes of Israel, clarify unresolved issues of Halakha, and rebuild the holy temple in Jerusalem according to the pattern shown to the prophet Ezekiel. Gathering the Lost Tribes of Israel, Isaiah 11 verse 12. He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. Clarifying unresolved issues of Halakha, Isaiah 2 verse 3. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths the law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Rebuilding the holy temple in Jerusalem according to the pattern shown to the prophet Ezekiel, Ezekiel 40-48. These chapters contain detailed descriptions of a future temple and its rituals, often interpreted as a vision of the messianic era. During this time Jews believe an era of global peace and prosperity will be initiated. The nations will love Israel and will abandon their gods, turn toward Jerusalem, and come to the holy temple to worship the one God of Israel. The Bible does not explicitly state that the nations will abandon their gods. The concept is interpreted based on certain passages and prophetic visions, but it's not explicitly spelled out in the text. Isaiah 60 verse 3 Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Zechariah 8 verses 22 to 23. Many peoples and powerful nations will come to Jerusalem to seek the Lord Almighty and to entreat Him. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In those days ten people from all languages and nations will take firm hold of one Jew by the hem of his robe and say, Let us go with you, because we have heard that God is with you. Isaiah 2 verse 4. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Micah 4 verse 3 He will judge between many peoples and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation 
nor will they train for war anymore. Zechariah prophesied that any family among the nations who does not appear in the temple in Jerusalem for the festival of Sukkot will have no rain that year. Zechariah 14 verses 17 to 19 And it shall be that whichever of the families of the earth do not come up to Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, on them there will be no rain. If the family of Egypt will not come up and enter in, they shall have no rain. They shall receive the plague with which the Lord strikes the nations who do not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt, and the punishment of all the nations that do not come up to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. Isaiah prophesied that the rebuilt temple will be a house of prayer for all nations. Isaiah 56 verse 7 Even them I will bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called the house of prayer for all nations, the city of YHWH Shama. CF Ezek 48,35, the New Jerusalem, will be the gathering point of the world's nations, and will serve as the capital of the renewed kingdom of Israel. Ezekiel 48 verse 35. The distance all around will be 18,000 cubits and the name of the city from that time on will be, The Lord is there. Isaiah 2 verses 2 to 4 In the last days the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as the highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many peoples will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of the God of Jacob. He will teach us His ways, so that we may walk in His paths the law will go out from Zion the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples. Zechariah 14 verse 16 Then the survivors from all the nations that have attacked Jerusalem will go up year after year to worship the King, the Lord Almighty, and to celebrate the festival of tabernacles. The book of Isaiah closes with the prophecy, And it will come to pass, that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh will come to worship before me, says YHWH.